What's going on guys, Ness here. What I have in front of me today are two very easy DIY video game consoles that I have housed inside cigar boxes. One of them is super almost laughably simple. The other one is slightly more involved, but pretty easy to make as well. So I thought I'd share this quick and easy project with you guys. So we're gonna start out with the more complicated one and I'm gonna go over what I used to make this build. The first thing I used is this 5 inch 800 by 480 touch display. It has HDMI input, is powered by 5 volts via USB, and has audio output via a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The next thing I used is this really cheap Mario themed SNES style USB gamepad. It's your standard SNES design, nothing too special here. Up next, I have this 3.5 millimeter auxiliary mini speaker. This is what I'm gonna be using to generate audio for the build, and this little speaker surprisingly goes pretty loud. Up next, and probably the most important component, is a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi for this build. The one I have in front of me is the model 3B+, but you can also use a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi Zero. And for this build, I will be running RetroPie. If you guys are new to RetroPie and unsure how to install it onto your Raspberry Pi, I'll put a link to a fantastic tutorial in the description. And lastly, this whole thing is going to be powered with this USB power bank. Getting one that has fast charge capabilities is probably better, but I'll put a link to this one as well as everything else that I use in the description below. Now in terms of setup, it's as simple as mounting the mini HDMI monitor to the top of the cigar box. You can use screws, nails, tacks, whatever suits your fancy. I'm using these two hook screws right here to keep it in place. All of the components of the build fit nice and snug right in the main compartment of the cigar box. We're going to go ahead and connect the monitor's power supply directly to the Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB controller. Then we're going to take our 3.5 millimeter mini speaker and connect it to the headphone jack of the monitor. We're going to connect the HDMI from the Raspberry Pi to the monitor. And lastly, fire up the Raspberry Pi using our USB power bank. And just like that, you have a portable Raspberry Pi gaming console inside of a cigar box. Depending on which USB power bank you're using, you should be able to get a couple of hours of gameplay out of this before you need to charge it. And the beauty of this build is that when you're done, you just disconnect all the components, throw it right back in the cigar box, and take it with you on the go. Now on to the next build, or should I call it the super simple build, I'm using an old Android tablet. This is the Xiaomi Mi Pad, the first generation, that came packaged with a Tegra K1, which makes this thing fantastic for retro gaming and emulation. Secondly, I'm using a Bluetooth gamepad, doesn't matter which kind, as long as it just fits inside the cigar box. Guys, literally all I did was mount the tablet to the back of the cigar box using Velcro. Double-sided tape will work as well. I installed RetroArch and connected the Bluetooth gamepad. I told you guys this build was super duper simple. If any of you guys need any help with RetroArch for Android, I'll put a link to a tutorial in the description below. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking, why bother even mounting the tablet to the cigar box? Why not just play it on a tabletop or with a stand or something like that? And the answer to that is very simple, and it is because it looks cooler this way. But in all seriousness, besides giving a pretty badass aesthetic, it's pretty cool just to have everything all bundled up. All you do is close the top of the cigar box, and you take your little makeshift console with you anywhere you want. There are tons of different emulators and front ends for Android. I prefer the simplicity of RetroArch, but you can really use whatever you'd like. So 
So there you guys have it. Those are two quick and easy do-it-yourself game consoles that you can build inside cigar boxes. They don't take very long to build, and in the very least, you can enjoy an afternoon of fun with them. As always, I'll put links to everything that I used in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.